guys, Coach Sue and Coach Alex here with Physique Development, and today we're gonna to be educating on the rear delt vertical pull down. But before we get into things, we would absolutely love if you could go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we have new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So going ahead and getting into this movement, this is honestly gonna be pretty similar to a, an exercise that we've recently done, and that's gonna be the upper back pull down. So when we look at the upper back pull down, the rear delts are still getting some love there, but this is going to be a rear delt bias pull down. So when we look at these, you're going to get most of your upper back musculature for the upper back pull down, including the rear delts. And for this movement, you're going to be biasing the rear delts while again, still having the other upper back muscles in play. For the upper back pull down, you see that he has a pronated grip and he has a wider grip here. And he's going to think about really pulling those elbows out to the side and then being able to think about pulling those elbows back at the very end of the movement. When we go ahead and take a look at the rear delt pull down, we see here that Alex has a semi pronated grip instead of just a pronated grip. We still wanna think about driving those elbows out as that's going to help when we look at the initiation from the rear delt. We also are going to see here that he is pulling in more of a 45 degree angle for those rear delt fibers. All right now we're gonna go ahead and have Alex sit down to talk through a few other aspects of the movement. So one thing we wanna be able to keep in mind is how stable our pelvis and your core is. So make sure that you're locked down in the seat so the weight isn't pulling you up and you truly can get this output when it comes to your rear delts. And similarly to the upper back pull down, you're gonna have some thoracic extension, which means you're gonna have a slight curve in your back here. And this is to ensure that the tissue lines up with the resistance. So again, we can get the most output of these rear delts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have Alex grab the attachment. And you do see, like stated, he does have a semi-pronated grip. And as he goes through this movement, he's gonna think also about having stabilization through his upper back starting the movement, but he's not gonna fully retract his scapula. But as he goes ahead and pulls down, he is going to get to a point where right here, he starts to retract and gets those scapula retracted at the very end of the movement. So I'm gonna have him go through a few reps here. Thank you so much, Alex, for that incredible demonstration. And that is going to be all that you need to know when it comes to doing a rear delt bias vertical pull down. Let us know if you have any questions below, but we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sue, and I would absolutely love if you join the Physique Development family. And you can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber and you wanna be notified on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday when we post videos, then go ahead and hit that bell so you can get those notifications. Thanks so much, catch you next time.